Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know already, Canva has just released a ton of magical new features which will help you design like a pro in minutes. Over the coming weeks, I'll be introducing you to some of my favorite features. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ding that little bell notification so that you know when I upload a new video. So today we're going to be looking at magic design. Magic design will transform your ideas into fresh and attention grabbing designs in an instant using AI. Add your own brand images, fonts and colors, and you'll have professionally designed content to share with your followers. So if you're ready, let the magic begin. So here I am on my Canva homepage. And the first thing I need to do is get an idea of what I want Canva to create. Once I've got that straight in my mind, I'm going to go to the search bar right at the top in the top banner. Place my cursor in the search bar and then type exactly what I want Canva to create for me. Once you've typed in your idea, do make sure that you've got the templates tab selected rather than projects. Next, all you're going to do is hit enter, sit back and wait for the magic to happen. And within just a few seconds, Canva has generated a series of templates in a carousel at the top of the page. So scroll through and see what you think of the templates. You'll see that I've got all Instagram posts in the carousel because that is what I asked for in the search bar. You don't have to ask for Instagram posts. You can ask for Instagram reels, TikTok videos, whatever you want. You can also generate a mix of template sizes by not being specific at all. So once the designs have been generated, scroll through and you can pick your favourite template if you have one already. If you love it as it is, you can simply download it without customising it any further. And I'll show you how to do this in just a second. Alternatively, you can start customising the templates by uploading your own media or adding your own branding. So let's have a look at the media tab. If I click on it, you'll see that I can either upload a brand photo or video snippet from my own device by clicking on this little button here, or I can drag and drop the media into this grayed out area here. Alternatively, I can select a photo or a video from my latest Canva uploads. For now, I'm going to upload a photo from my own device. Canva has now generated a completely new set of templates using the photo that I just uploaded. And I've got to admit they are really beautiful. You'll notice that Canva has magically pulled the colors it's found within my photo and added them to the templates in the carousel. If you don't like those particular colors, you can rebrand the templates again by clicking on the brand tab. From here, I can see all the brand kits that I've set up. To add my own brand colors, all I need to do is select the brand kit I want to work with. So I'm gonna select my own brand kit and then click see results. And within just an instant, Canva has changed all the colors to my own brand colors. At this point, if you don't like what Canva has generated, you can't go back to the previous templates. However, there's a little workaround, which I'm going to show you in just a second. The next thing you want to do is select the template that you want to work with. So scrolling through, I think I'm going to pick this template. So I'm going to click on it and then click customize this template and that will open it up in the design editor so I can make some further amendments. Let me just get rid of that. 
Once you've got your template opened up in the design editor, you can carry on customizing the template. So I can see here I've got my brand fonts in the template, but I don't like the color. So I'm going to change it by selecting a text box, going up to the Canva toolbar and selecting text color, finding my brand kit here and changing the color to say this dark gray color. At the bottom of this column, as you probably already know, there's the change all button. And I'm going to click on change all to change all instances of pink in, within the template to my brand gray. So that's done. The template background is perfect because it's in my lovely vanilla color. So I don't need to change that. But if you did want to change it, select the background go up to the background color tab in the Canva toolbar and then select a color from your brand kit or from the colors within the photo. So I could change that to this lovely mink color. That's actually quite nice. And here's another little quick tip for you, just in case you've not already discovered this. If you want your template colors to match the colors within a photograph, go to the left hand side column, click on design. Now select the styles tab and go right down to the bottom of this column where you'll find image palettes. And here you'll see that Canva has picked out all the colors it can find within this beautiful photograph. If you click on the palette, you can shuffle the colors around until you find something that you like. So keep clicking on shuffle to shuffle the colors around. So you can see how that works. Fabulous. So I've now got a beautiful template created using my brand fonts and colors. All I need to do now is either download the template by going to the top right hand corner of the Canva toolbar, clicking on share, and then finding the download button. I'm gonna click on it, select file type. So this is a static image, so I'm going to stick with PNG as Canva has suggested. I have a Canva Pro account, so I can adjust the size and quality of this image by dragging this little button along the slider bar. I don't want a transparent background and I don't want to compress the file. So all that's left for me to do now is click on download. And now I can save this image to my own device. Alternatively, if you're going to be using this as a social media template and you know you're going to be sharing it on one of your social media platforms, here's what I suggest you do to save yourself an awful lot of time. Go back up to the share button. Go down until you find the three little dots and click on more. And that will bring up a huge menu of options. But what you need to do is find the social section and the schedule button. And this will give you access to Canva's fabulous content planner. At this point, I just want to make a quick confession. I didn't really know what all the fuss was about when people were talking about Canva's content planner. So this summer, I decided to check it out for myself. I was actually really amazed because the content planner doesn't just help you schedule content. You can also add diary reminders, keep up with all the social media events during the year and use the copy and magic resize button to turn one post into as many formats as you like or need with just one click of your mouse. I have a brand new and very affordable course available on my website now, which will turn you into a content planner ninja. You'll find a link to the course underneath this video, so do check out the details. So click on the schedule button to schedule this post to one of your social media platforms. Please note that Magic Design does have a usage limit. If you're a free Canva account holder, you have 10 design generates across all of Magic Design in total.
However, if you're a pro user, you will have 100 design generates across all of Magic Design per day. And that's a massive difference. So if you're going to be using Magic Design for your business and you're unsure if an upgrade to a paid Canva plan is worthwhile, get instant access to Canva Pro for free for an exclusive 45 days using this link. I'll leave the clickable link underneath this video. That's it for now. Make sure you stay tuned for more magical Canva features in the coming weeks. So we'll see you next time.